What's up everybody? It seems like 2024 is the year where artists are being accused of stealing songs from other artists. I mean, first we had the KO and Booty and the B situation that went viral on Twitter. Currently, we got something so weird to fighting for credits for a song that he laid his vocals on. And now it seems like Manir C has got an entire country calling him a thief. What's up everybody? I'm Yano One and today We'll be discussing a topic that's got South Africans and Namibians debating online. Because I swear, this whole situation is not open in luck. On May the 27th, Manir C, a South African artist, dropped a remix of the song Pick a Vein. The remix featured the original Namibian artist Mega Slaughterhouse and Chucky. And boom, the song took off. Like, seriously took off. We're talking about over 2 million views on YouTube and almost 200,000 users of the audio on TikTok. The song was everywhere, trending, going viral, you name it. But here's where the situation gets messy. As the song blew up, Namibians started to notice something. They were like, hold up, isn't the song originally by our own mega slaughterhouse? And they weren't wrong. Mega Slaughterhouse dropped the original Pucker Vein back on August the 17th, 2023 on his own YouTube channel, which got over 2,000 views in just one day, which is pretty impressive, right? And sadly, here's where things started to get heated. The people of Namibia were not too happy seeing the remix on Manir C's YouTube channel. They started accusing him of stealing the song saying he had no right to be the one posting it. Okay, I think it's time that we address the elephant in the room. Manier Shiko mak yo kak reg. Everyone knows, everyone knows. The initial, the sole owners of the song is Mega Slaughterhouse and Danke Chucky. Manier C is only a feature on the song. And then he dropped the song on his YouTube without Mega's permission. Now, the problem is coming in where you guys are taking Manier C only. You are not recognizing Danky Chucky and you are not recognizing or mentioning Mega Slaughterhouse when he is the sole owner of the song. And then Manier C goes further and tells Mega not to speak to, to club owners in SA so, because they are apparently scammers. But l- let's face it, you are the real scammer Manier C. Why would you take someone else's original, make a remix, and then claim the song as yours? Keeprat van kama ne hoeveel mensen die song geken voor ik jou die remix ga komen. Ik as een Namibian, I knew the song. Onze die song ga pam jij daar bij Chicago's as mega daar gaan te vormen. It's a remix, it's a remix, ne? But we don't know your part. If someone had to put a gun to my head now and say, sing C's remix, I would do it. was would do it. I 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 would do it. And that's when Ivan Fieras also saw the challenge and hopped on it. Because she saw it. So what would she do? And after her, this was the South Africans began to play the song. There was Namibians who the first day dance challenge began to make. Most of it is Manet, on such a clean country. Three million people as clean people, clean cleaners and old people. So obviously the people who are on social media as men. They should come challenge on the song so we can make our own skin on the songs and on sing that. So that I feel that the mark, that on the songers mark may not be that much, but the mark feel. Now you know things are going to get serious when artists start speaking up. Mega Slaughterhouse took to Instagram to clear up his side of the story, saying, at Manir underscore C, for the longest time, you've been ignoring calls and running off bookings with my song. I've been letting it slide, but you're pushing and dragging it so far that you're claiming my song in South Africa, generally blocking me from getting gigs and stuff. You started seeing my songs take off and you called me and told me club owners in South Africa scam people 
and I mustn't talk to anyone and you guys will sort it out. Meanwhile, you all are taking those gigs and ignoring the fact or shying away from the fact that that's my song and I'm the sole owner of it. Produced and written in Namibia by Chucky and I. Meneer C finally responded to all the backlash. He said that the producer Chucky had sent him the files for the song and they agreed that it would be released on his YouTube channel. Okay. okay. So you guys agreed that the remix will be on your YouTube page? Yes. Okay. That's correct. All right. Quick question, Meneer C. Um, did Mega send you did Mega send you the song himself? The project file I got from, from Chucky, yes. Okay. Is Chucky now the producer, producer. as well of yeah. the remix? Yes. Okay. No, Chucky Chucky's the original producer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So Chucky sent so you I the got, original the version song. and then you had the remix yeah. made your side. That's correct, yes. Okay. Continue. So okay, now cool, we're rocking is like, yeah, the song is crazy. What what what? Um so naturally I start pushing content, 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 TikTok, 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 TikTok. Mm. I start posting on Instagram, you know, uh to try and do collab requests. Yeah. Right? He's, he's either totally not accepting it or he just uh, mises it. Mises as, his, as well, he ignores, he ignores I it. Energy. Yeah, I can see I can see the energy is off here. Mm. I'm like, okay, what's like what's going on here? Next thing, um the song crosses I think it reached uh, four hundred thousand or, or or something like that. I think it reached four hundred thousand views. Yeah, man is starting to post. I'm like, okay, cool. Man, there's no problem posting um, milestones, yeah. right? But, like, whenever we ask him to do a single video, till this date, he hasn't dropped one. Till this date. As in promotional video. Challenge. Yeah. None mm. whatsoever. Meneer C also mentioned that Mega Slaughterhouse wasn't really on board in the beginning. Like, he wasn't keen on promoting the remix. But, funny enough, once the remix hit 1 million views, suddenly, Mega was all about celebrating the milestone. In the world of music, especially with collaborations, things can get complicated real quick. This situation really shows how important it is to have clear communication and respect between artists, especially when they come from different countries. I put the thing in the sky. Oh. Now I can't shit. I'm still working on the translation, but while I'm doing that, let me know which side you're on in the comment section. Do you think Manir C crossed the line? Or do you think Mega is overreacting? Whatever it is, let's have a conversation about it. By the way, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more. I'm Yano Ne, and see you in the next one.